And here's something that I use uh, all the time, which I refer to as planes. And uh, basically flat planes are something uh, very important because obviously a figure, there's a figure standing on the ground, gravity pointing straight down. Uh, this is the plane basically that they're standing upon. So now planes can be drawn in perspective, like so. As soon as you do, you establish a horizon line, which gives an added feeling of perspective. Now, um, Jack Kirby, for example, um, used planes all the time, and it's not necessarily uh, much noticed in his work. Uh, there's one cover which I will try to pull up an example of um, where there are multiple planes, and that's essentially what it's based upon. But um, just about all the time he used planes uh, to establish a scene, perspective, where the uh, characters were standing, and so on. So here's something um, to work with a plane. Right, and a second plane in the background. Now, a lot of figures you may have seen me draw, I'll start with the rib cage or something and work my way down, basically starting with the chest mass. Years ago, I started with the hip mass. Uh, in a sense, it doesn't matter so much as long as your figure is, is good. So, anyway, with this one, uh, this plane example, I'm going to start with a different uh, approach, and that is to draw the lower limbs first. So these are the calves, the thighs, and you'll notice what happens is I don't necessarily know where they're going to meet and where they're going to end. So it creates an arbitrary place um, for the hips, which is unplanned, which actually helps with um, kind of a spontaneous quality. Now here again, forearms, 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 and here again, creating a somewhat spontaneous um, placement for the chest, which is turning a bit, right? Now, um, another thing, uh, aspect of figures may be a focus of attention, which uh, creates drama in your picture. And another thing, um, while I'm thinking of it, is uh, angularity. Angularity, because that also creates drama in your pictures. Now you'll notice up here, a figure standing there stock still, it's like verticals, there's no drama to it. This figure, on the other hand, there's no vertical, not even the torso is vertical, everything is at an angle. So, focus of attention, where is this uh, figure looking? Well, how about over here? How about there's something over here, right? So that means the head will be turned like so, probably to look toward it, there's the ear to show which way it's looking, right? Now there are other things, uh, aspects of drama, like what are the hands doing? I'll make the hand do something uh, interesting here. Make a fist here. Uh, which way are the feet falling and so on. Now, you know, with fantasy art, a lot of times there's a weapon or a sword or something like that. So I'll put that there in this case. Now, not to jump in and finish this figure too much. But, uh, any funny stuff with anatomy, you know, I fix at this point. All right. So, there is the figure. All right. Put some hair on it. Now, the plane in the background could be anything. It could be a wall. There could be another figure leaning up against it, like so. Now here's the fair maiden, also looking at the um, thing to be concerned about with, the danger or whatever, don't know necessarily, holding on to something, perhaps rock, Here's the legs, bigger, and so on. Now, it's interesting because um, 
Once the planes are removed, no one will ever know that they were there. But what will happen is the, the drawing will have a uh, depth to it and uh, perspective, plausibility, that it might not have had otherwise, okay? So, as a little surprise here, here's a drawing which I'm working on, which is basically using the same, oh, the same approach. Uh, no, actually, no, this one is a little different. The figure in the background is uh, on a plane, the male figure, uh, the key here, and I'll, I'll just take an aside here to show what the uh, creation process was behind this figure. So there's another trick here. You notice what the arms are doing? Well, the arms are basically, here's a globe, here's a torso. The arms are basically encircling and gripping the globe, the invisible globe, basically, because and there's the attention again, focused somewhere. But as you can see, when the um, globe is removed, you never know it was there. And so what the male figure is doing with the arms is something that you might see, you know, a professional wrestler do or something like that. It's basically a grappling position. And uh, let's see, okay. Well, that's probably enough information for today, so I'll leave it there.